Aesthetics is the study of art, or the study of the interaction and fusion of form and content. which means that the difference between aesthetics and art is that aesthetics is the study of art. Other than that, they're the same. I think that distinction is, uh, I think, important. Hmm. Now, art is, uh, has many definitions, as you know. One is an idea that has found its perfect form. It doesn't make any difference what the source is. It's either art or it isn't. Source or the genre, it doesn't make any difference whether it's advertising or painting or sculpture or architecture. The formal problems are the same. It is a byproduct, not a goal. You don't say, I'm going to do art. You just say, I'm going to do whatever you're going to do but you never call it art. Art is, if you're lucky. The degree of interest in a picture is often determined by its abstract quality, which is the artist's critical commentary expressed with emphasis on interpretation rather than on verisimilitude. In other words, the abstract aspect of a picture is its form. as against the concrete, which is the content. In other words, without content, there's no form. And without form, there's no content. There's nothing. The work of art is realized when form and content are indistinguishable, when they are in synthesis. In other words, when they fuse. When form predominates, meaning is blunted. You know, when form overtakes and you, it's like these trendy things that are going on. You don't know what's going on. But when content predominates, interest lags. Uh, Norman Rockwell, it's just nothing but content. And the form is rather boring. Isn't that true? <laughs> to realize the work of art, certain conflicts must be resolved between ends and means, form and content, form and function, form and expression. It is the merging of these conflicts that determines the aesthetic quality of a painting, a design, a building, sculpture, or a painted piece. You know, the big problem in art is bringing these two uh, antagonistic elements together. You know, and if you, if you try to do something decent, you begin to realize what the word antagonistic means. It means it's very difficult to do. So it's always bringing these two conflicts together. Lists are, are always have a tendency to be rather boring, but I think this list is, <laughs> is important, and that is the vocabulary or the language of art or of aesthetics. Order, unity, variety, contrast, symmetry, asymmetry, rhythm, harmony, dissonance, rhyme, interval, regularity, coherence, tension, balance, proportion, scale, weight, texture, line, mass, space, shape, light, shade, and color, and many others that I can't think of at the moment, which is true. The, this is the language of form. When you, when you talk about form, this is what you're talking about. And that's why, uh, Form has nothing to do with style in the sense that proportion and the sense of proportion is always fixed. It doesn't change. 
right? I mean, it's, re it's relations. That doesn't mean that different people don't have different ideas about it. For example, uh, Art Nouveau and Art Deco have certain proportions that are different. And this is what gives it its style. But the idea of proportion is the same in all kinds of art. And now this is the, the thing that people get mixed up. Because it's timeless.